Oh, it smells so good. Welcome back here to the show. Executive Chef Amy Fairbanks from Garden of the Gods Gourmet joining us now this morning. We're talking farm to fork and how yeah. to cook with locally grown Colorado food right here in our homes. There's a lot to work with and yeah. summertime is probably the easiest time. You can go to any farmer's market and get most everything, at least in this, just, this is just a Colorado kind of a summer hash, okay. if you would. Okay. Um, but I'm using cauliflower instead of potatoes. So for some people dietarily, that's a lot easier to deal with. Um, and it's just something a little bit different. So peppers are in there and I've got one of our favorite ingredients at the market is Milberger's uh, roasted green chilies. Oh, yes. so awesome. We use it in our pork green chili. We use it in our Southwest Benedict. Okay. We use it all over the place. Okay. Um, and then I'm cooking with another great Colorado product, Sunflower Oil. Who knew we even made oil in Colorado? Um, and that's from Lamar, Colorado. We sell that in our market. See, um, I thought this was margarita mix. <laughs> I, mean, I know. Before you, you know. said what it was. <laughs> no, it's but, oil. Yeah, it's, it's great. Really good to cook with. Um, okay. So the Milberger chilies are great. And this retail pack, you can come in and buy at the market. And it's just ready to go. So you don't have to do all the peeling of the mm. chilies. Um, but another great Colorado product is Olathe Sweet Corn. Okay. Um, love summer sweet corn and um, so I'm going to throw that in here with the mix nice. um, but sometimes people are like oh how do I get it off the cob the only way I eat it is corn on the cob um, so usually I will put it in a bowl just okay. like this yeah. and you just cut it down like that and then everything gets caught in the bowl sure. and it's not flying all over your cutting board and falling on the ground and you know it's just it can be a messy endeavor <laughs> but uh, so anyways you cut it down like that and then take the back of your knife and scrape down and get all those good little juices out of all those pockets and then you get all that great flavor out of this sweet corn. This is how my kids and my grandparents used to eat it. Yeah, <laughs> right it is great. And when you corn. cut sweet corn yeah. off the cob, yeah. it is honestly just, it, it makes such a world of difference. So different from the frozen, so oh, different from the... So delicious. Okay. So great. So that goes in. What else is in that hash? So we've got some cauliflower, which all I did was just pulse it in my food processor. Okay. Or you can chop it up if okay. you get real crazy with a knife. Um, and then I've got some red peppers. I've got some green onions and some garlic, and then of course those Millburger roasted green chilies to give it a little bit of kick. The green chilies and the sweet corn go so good together. Mm. Um, and then you can take this and just serve it as a side dish. Okay. Or you can take some chicken or some halibut. I did it with a special the other night at our restaurant and did some citrus chili okay. crusted halibut. When you're trying, oh my gosh, that's not, just for the halibut, right? Stuff. Yeah, just great. <laughs> when you're trying, to, uh, when you're trying to, to, to purchase locally grown food, is there something you should look for? Well, you know, honestly, get it as close to the source as you can. Okay. If you can go to the farm, great. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got Venetucci Farm here in town, yeah. um, and you can go to their farm stand. If you can go to the farmer's market, Great, you've got a huge selection there. And then last but not least is a lot of the grocery stores around town, at least the King Supers and the local ones, you know, the little, you know, mom and pop kind of grocery yeah. stores and the health food stores, they'll have great local produce. Very nice. Um, and they're really, they make it accessible. So start there and then get closer to the farm. She's a pro right here, Chef mm -hmm. Amy Fairbanks from Garn of the Gods Gourmet. What's the website? We can... Uh, Godsgourmet.com. Gods, there you go. Gods of the Gods Gourmet? Yep, Godsgourmet.com. Gods <laughs> That says it all. All right, good stuff. Thank you so much. Yeah.